Okay. Melissa, don't break things here. <laughs> there you go. Oh, okay. Good job. Melissa's <laughs> 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 oh. Melissa's breaking things over here. Okay, let's just uh. There you go. Good job. <laughs> welcome to our room at the Bridalhof. They put a little welcome sign on our door. I think we got the romantic suite. <laughs> oh yeah? Is there going to be romanticness? I don't know. <laughs> this suite is larger than I thought it was going to be. Is it larger than you thought? Much larger. <laughs> okay, so when you come in, we have a corner room too. Well, let's explain from the very beginning when we showed up. Oh, okay. So we drove up and I checked in, which wasn't very extensive because I had already provided our passport and stuff earlier. So they gave us a welcome drink and welcome snacks. I only got Prosecco. I just got apple juice and some like prosciutto stuff for Alan. Mm -hmm. And then like... A fruit snack kind of thing. Yeah, yeah it tasted like a fruit roll, but it looked like... <laughs> <laughs> brownie bites. <laughs> yeah, it was so confusing. So we got our welcome drink and then we kind of got a little explanation of the hotel. It's three separate buildings. We're in the higher building. The lower building is where the restaurant is and then there's a separate six or seven story spa tower. Sauna tower. Sauna tower. So yeah. we'll do some exploring later, but first let me show you our room. I think this is the biggest room we've ever stayed in. The hotel in Peru was the biggest room. Yeah, I think so. But I want to also tell them that we had a Tomas was our like person who brought all the bags up and gave us an explanation of the room. Super nice. And they met us literally in the garage. Cause at the car. At the car. Cause they were like, the receptionist said, my colleague will come and um, get, your stuff. get your stuff. But I just assumed like any other hotel, like you bring it up to the lobby yourself and then they take it from there. But no, he got everything from us, from our car. Like literally parked and then he was like, magically appeared. Yeah. <laughs> so, good job, Tomas. Already services five stars. All right, so this is our very large bathroom with a giant tub. These are our reusable bags that we get. Oh, cool. Along with um, a wellness towel, it's like a face. This is the first time I'm also exploring and Melissa is exploring the room towel. as well. Nice soaker tub. Oops. <laughs> we each get a towel, or a towel. A robe, which we'll use throughout our stay here. Our slippers that we'll wear. This is our stand up shower. shower. Cool. Never seen a shower like that before. That's cool. Yeah. And then look, they got like big size lotions and shower, shower gels, gels and all that. Okay, we got a large thing of hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer too. Sanitizer. We have a separate room. Oh, that's useful. The toilet. That's very useful. And the bidet. <laughs> I like that separate room. And then there's this like little foyer area. It's like a entryway. Closets. So our stuff is already hung up, sort of, kind of. And then here, if you don't have a fat backpack to go hiking, they provide one for you. That is pretty incredible that they provide a little backpack for you. And That's great. it comes with two water bottles. You think we can keep those? The water bottles, yes. Not obviously the backpack, but the water bottles, useful. It's just safe. What is that? Oh. If you want to go running. I was wondering what that was. That's cool. But they provide a lot of things for you. They got like a shoe horn thing, whatever right. that thing is. We have this giant TV on the stand, king size bed. Four poster bed. Apparently they can adjust the firmness. So if it's too firm, we can ask them to change something out and they'll make it softer. They'll change the mattress. Literally like they'll bring a softer mattress. I don't know what this is, but it's like, they're like herb or something. Oh yeah. Let's come in to here. This is like our little sitting area. Wow. Besides another bedroom. So there is a fireplace. Whoa, um, hold up guys. They brought, they even have like a whole like headset thing. There's another TV just in case you need another TV. I don't know why. A couple more chairs over there. They will light the fireplace for us. So we won't do it ourselves. And then we have some welcome chocolates here. Oh, that's and nice. And fruit. Some fruit. All right, get this guys. Look, there's this thing that will operate the window, window shades. shades. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, it goes completely black. That's nice. And then this one too. That's cool. Okay, let's uh, 
bring them back up here. Continue. We have a little mini bar here with the Nespresso machine, the kettle. Oh, I didn't even see the Nespresso. That's good. Let's see what our view looks like. We haven't seen that yet. Oh yeah, press the button. This gives me like secret layer vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Wow, let's go outside. Oh. So we're like in the middle of a winery, basically. Okay, we don't have the greatest view. <laughs> it's like the side of a hill. Okay. What's that? Don't break things here. Can it fly? There you go. Oh, okay. Good job. Let's <laughs> 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 just breaking things over here. Okay, let's just uh <laughs> There you go. Good job. Okay, out here we got two balcony or two loungers rather. So we face the side of a hill, which is not ideal, but it's okay because we probably won't spend any time out here anyway. We'll probably be that's, down by the pool. That's pretty cool, but this is like a whole like out there is a winery. So Melissa, you were saying this is a old it was a farm and this building was like you they could just rent out the room and eventually they renovated and just kept renovating until it is what like it is now over 100 years of yeah. like complete renovations and um so this is a family owned and operated hotel oh it's it is still in the same family that's cool so yeah you can see all the like vines up there as well so we're like let's say we're in the highest room so down here so there's a spot over there is a spa tower or sauna tower and then over here is the main room or main uh, lodge building where we will have dinner breakfast lunch all that and then i guess there's more like spa stuff down here so now that we're done bringing our stuff to our room we're gonna go explore the rest of the hotel so anytime you can change into a rogue and your swim trunks you should do it Melissa did not do it yet, but... I don't feel like it. She, it takes more effort for a lady to change into other stuff, but... Okay, let's see. Pretty good. Anytime you can be. Slippers. <laughs> All right, we have to consult our map. There's too many things. Melissa, are we going to be exploring until dinner time? Yeah, I think so. It's 5.30, dinner starts at 7, so I think it'll take us about an hour and a half to explore. Look how many things there are on this map. It's like a, a venture park. So this place is called the Sky Infinity Sport Pool. Oh, wow. This is amazing up here. This is the Sky Infinity Pool with amazing views of the town of Paterno. This is the underground passage that connects the I think that's part of it, but I don't think it's technically it. Good. And the other side is it's around 20 degrees. Oh. And then the room that we were just in over here is a relax room and they have like headphones that you can use for like relaxation music. There's the gym. Oh, it's nice because it's oh, it's part to of the outdoors. This guy needs uh, some gym time. We've been eating like crazy. And we're gonna continue eating like crazy, but look. It opens up to the outdoors, so you can be working out in here, and then you just go right down to the little pool right there. They got, yeah, they got a lot of good equipment. They got free weights over there. They got a bench right here. That's pretty cool. In this gym, they have this like old style water fountain. This is the activities for today. For tomorrow, do you want to go to six pack training? Yeah, I need that. <laughs> this door just opened by itself, <laughs> by motion. And then this is like an underground passage to the sauna tower and reception. All right, guys, this is the sauna tower right here. And then they have like a little like lounge thing, like a little library, that's cool. Let's check it out. Yeah, definitely a library. Oh, wow, it's like really nice. All right, 
this is the sauna tower. As you can see, it is a tower. So apparently down there is called Functional Training Hall. So here is the Functional Fitness Room with TRX and Whoa, this place is, is like an underground like dungeon gym. Yeah, it's like a cross CrossFit type thing. They have ropes here, like yoga mats, crazy contraption. They got a squat rack, pull the bar, all the TRX stuff. That's pretty cool. Huh, they have a tire you can flip. And they have stations like, okay, here you do burpees, here you do bike work, I don't know. Here you do kettlebell Russian twists. So if you don't know what to do, you can just follow the numbers, I guess. Okay guys, this is probably the coolest like hotel gym that I've ever been to. Just the fact that they have like all this stuff in here. And we're a pretty big like gym fitness people, so. This is pretty cool for it is. for a hotel. This one is the deep sea sauna. Apparently it's unique. It's the only one in the world. That's what they said, but it's extra. So it's 19 euros extra. I'm not sure what this is, but it's freaking cool. Oh, zero gravity chair. Melissa loves zero gravity chairs. And then have an outdoor area too. They have like a zero gravity outdoor chair. And they have like these water beds situation. It feels nice out here. It's nice. It feels nice. So this is the salt sauna. What do you think so far? Really like it. I was just telling someone else who were showing, the guy at the spa was actually showing us all the different places and he, I told him this basically is like an adult theme park. Yeah. It has like so many different things. But this is like their little like snack area. They have all kinds of like, I would have appreciated this at Adler Spa because you definitely get hungry if you don't eat lunch. But lunch is included, right? You're definitely not gonna go hungry. Yeah, they got all kinds of teas and stuff, fruits over here, really nice. So this area is called the White Silence Lounge. I guess I'm not really supposed to be talking in here, but no one's in here, so it's okay. All right, this is the vast majority of the hotel right here. So we're standing on top of the sauna tower. So this is the, our rooms are up there. This is the pool area down here. And then this is the spa that's right here. And we're standing on the sauna tower right here. And then this is the reception and other hotel rooms. So that's where we'll have dinner. And apparently this is the hotel's own winery. Vineyard, sorry, vineyard. And they have a rock climbing wall right here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yes, this right here is a rock climbing wall. What are your thoughts so far on this place? I think it's really cool. I mean, it's meant purely for relaxation. I might have a little bit of a hard time with that just because I'm such a busybody, but we only have two full days here. So I think it'll be fine. But they also rent e-bikes. You could also rent a Porsche. And a Vespa. Vespa, which isn't that bad. I see people hiking down from somewhere. Oh, okay. There. And they also have like all the different like weekly activities. So I'm sure you can just like look at like little wine region, but also all the areas around here, the mountains, you can, I'm sure you can hike around a little bit. So we'll see. Yeah, but I think Alan will get more use out of this place than I will, because Alan loves to sit in the sauna. We have one at home. But there are different like level, different heat levels of saunas here. Yeah, they have all kinds of saunas. They have like a wine sauna. They have an olive sauna. A salt sauna. Salt room, like a soup, like a finish room that they're doing like a little like program right now, which is like 85 degrees C, which is hot AF basically. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go down to reception and ask about the bikes. This is the indoor thermal pool. So right behind me is the bar over there. And then the restaurant where we're having dinner is in there. Obviously it's not open yet. This is the main pool area over here. Looks really nice. Apparently there's like this little castle looking thing also has a sauna in it. And then our room is back there somewhere. Let's conclude our first impressions of the Pridalhof. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. Um, I'll say the only con here, and this is a minor nit, is that there's not that many English signs or English speaking travelers that come here, or guests that come here. So they only have it in Italian and in German, which is fine. Uh, I guess we can more or less figure things out. It would just be nice to have like some of the descriptions of the different saunas and stuff like that in English. How would you 
I mean, I think it's perfect for if you're just here for relaxation. So we talked to the reception about e-bike rentals. They are extra cost, so they're not like the Adler where they're included, but they're 23 euros, which is pretty much like half of like a normal rental. And you can rent both the e-city bikes and also e-mountain bikes. So we probably, if we're gonna both do them, we'll all do the, the city bikes and take them down to visit another little city village near here. Maybe, yeah. We'll look into it. Yeah, we gotta do a little bit more research <laughs> to see if it's worth it, but they do have regular bike rentals for free, right? but the e-bikes cost extra. But if you did want to do mountain bike, you could take the mountain bike up a gondola, mm -hmm. and then I think ride it like up in On the high line, yeah. Um, and then ride it back down. Which I'm pretty interested in doing. <laughs> uh, I told Melissa it's a Allen activity, not a Melissa activity, given that it's not the safest thing in the world. She's probably not gonna do it. But anyway, this is our first little hour, little like exploration of the Pradahof. We'll be here another three nights. Yeah, it's gonna be a really relaxing time and I'm looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to dinner, so. <laughs> Stick around to see what we get up to at this little hotel here. I will say this resort is, the maximum number of guests here is 140, I think is what they were telling us. But they have a lot, a lot of space for that number of people. They said, I think the first night we were here, it was a Saturday, it was completely booked and it still didn't feel full. The pool area is huge and they're just, yeah, lots of space to spread out so you won't ever feel like crowded here. 